All right, well, switching gears, Coinbase just announced the launch of its NFT marketplace. Joining us for more on this is Yahoo Finance's Jennifer Schonberger. Jennifer, again, staying in the theme of NFTs, very much a hot space that Coinbase is trying to get into. Give us more. Hey there, Brian. Yep, that's right. Coinbase launching its long-awaited NFT marketplace, trying to create a social community for NFT buyers and sellers. Besides exploring what NFTs are for sale, users can create a profile curated with NFTs they've created, comment on NFTs, or start conversation with other NFT collectors or sellers. Like Twitter or Instagram, they can build followers or discover other collectors and creators. Now, Coinbase's marketplace is designed to be open for all. Users are able to connect, disconnect their digital wallets at any time and take their NFTs with them anywhere. Coinbase won't impose a transaction fee for NFT purchases to start, but over time they will begin charging one, which the company says will likely start in the low single digit fee range. Now, as for those fakes, to ensure authenticity of collections, they will be verified through so-called verification badges. So think that little check mark that you like to see on Twitter, similar to that here. Coinbase also plans to rely on users to report fakes, and they will have a special team that will look out for scams and duplicates as well. BTIG fintech analyst Mark Palmer calling this a game changer for the company, saying, quote, we believe Coinbase's launch of its NFT marketplace could be a game changer for both the firm and the NFT space. We believe the marketplace will provide an important source of diversification away from the crypto trading that is the source of the vast majority of its revenue. Now, Brian, this marketplace is debuting in beta to a select number of invitees before opening up more broadly to the general public. In the coming weeks, Coinbase plans to expand the marketplace to more people, more countries, as they introduce more features and get more feedback from the users that are currently on the platform. Back to you. All right, we'll see if they can take a bite out of OpenSea. Yahoo Finance's Jennifer Schomberger, thanks so much.